<clears throat> okay. Hi everyone. I'm going to try the Jello acrylic. I have my little container. The lid. There is two tablespoons of Diva DC clear acrylic powder in here. I got this from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 because I'm in Canada. They jack the price up a little bit for exchange. It has the catcher underneath. And I have from Daiso. I'm going to try the fluorescent color. And... I'm going to do this magenta. So this is going to be boring. So let's try. So that's about half, I think. No, not even. <laughs> so we'll try that anyway. Some kind of paper. Try a bit more.
about one third. Just under a third. Right. So, put that aside. I have Sheba Nails Odorless Monomer because I can't stand the smell. And I'm going to break in my new brush from Addicted to Nail Art. Nothing to wipe this on. Yeah, I probably should have stopped at the first bit. So this is swatch one. Actually, I just kind of see through. But I'm going to pause this and run the powder through my coffee grinder because I don't like the big lumps that it's leaving. Um, because you can see them in there. Or I can anyway. They're on the sides. So, I'll be right back. Okay, back. Um, coffee grinder didn't really work because the lumps were too fine, so they were just flying all over the place. So I got my mortar and pestle out and I added two more tablespoons of clear acrylic and I'm just going to grind it up the old fashioned way. Dual form. Oh, wait, I get paper towel before I do that.
think that's it. It's still lumpy, so. Fatality. Flip it down. Okay. Well, that was a fail. So. I'll stop here. Um, if we're friends on Facebook, I'll post pictures. And if we're not, you can add me. Um, capital K, capital C lowercase z capital i z z y so it's casey's izzy and i'll see you in the next one